right, welcome to another episode of Unlocking Growth. And this is the coaching podcast that everybody in the business world needs. Um, I'm your host, Brian Stone. I'm a serial entrepreneur and business coach in the real estate space. And I love growth. I love growth so much that I created a show where I could talk to other coaches and and uh, other leaders in that space and talk about how they unlock growth for the clients that they serve. So um, today's episode is, is going to be a fun one. I'm actually really excited about this one because I, I stole this from uh, from from the the headline in the website. We're actually talking with uh, uh, Tracy Birmingham and the very top of her website, which is her company is called Goldie. It says, turn your business from a hot mess to a hell yes. And I cannot imagine a better goal for any business owner out there. So uh, I'm going to jump right into it. I know that you guys are going to love the conversation that Tracy and I are going to have today. And so I'll uh, I'll jump right in. Tracy, how are you today? I'm great. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So I, I mean, I, I'm I'm really excited to talk about um, let's talk about you, your business, because you you have worked on the back end, uh, kind of as a silent uh, uh, silent. Um, um, powerhouse, let's be honest, for some huge brands, some huge companies, because um, it, as you and I discussed before, and most business owners know, your real business uh, is driven by the engine that's behind you. It's not It's not you as a CEO. It's not the top salesperson. It's, it's your operation staff that is making the engine run. And that is exactly what you focus on. So um, tell us a little bit about why you got into that type of, of, uh, of coaching and and why you are so good at what you do. Yeah. So I have a history of project management. I've been doing it for about 25 plus years now. And uh, I, I lived in San Francisco. I'm currently in North Carolina, I lived in San Francisco, and I worked with the big companies, the Visa, Charles Schwab, Del Monte Foods, The Gap, Banana Republic, William Sonoma, right? Like all of the, the those big guys and created the systems and the structures. I believe that I have launched over a billion dollars worth of sales in products and services over the course of my career. Uh, and I've and in that respect, right, then I've I've also impacted billions of lives. And they will never know who I am. And I think that's absolutely that's amazing. fantastic, right? Like they will never yeah. know my name. They will never know that I even exist because I'm always the one behind the scenes. I'm always the one that that is making sure that everything runs smoothly, everything happens. But I'm they'll never know who I am. And I I, I love that, right? I get to make my own impact on the world as an introvert and as someone, right? I don't necessarily want to be in front of the masses, right? But I get to do that. And so extremely grateful in what I get to do. I moved- So, so in other words, I'm putting you on the spot and you're really uncomfortable because this is not where you'd prefer to be. Is that right? Absolutely. Because <laughs> I'm yeah. trying to highlight it. Okay, and cool. at the same time though, this is such good conversation and I feel like it's so important to get this message out yeah. there. And you know, you and I were talking earlier, but about 15 years ago, I moved in, I moved to small town USA where there is no corporate need for project managers. And I started going virtual and working with small businesses. And it, we were talking, you know, there's, you can find books and articles and videos on how to 10 X your sales in the next 30 days, right? You can find the next hustle. You got to hustle. You got to do this, right? Like you could find all kinds of books and articles and, and information on how to do that. How many books are there on how to free up your time and how to delegate to your team effectively and how to not, how to take a vacation for once in, you know, you haven't taken a vacation in 10 years. How, who's helping us do these things, right? And so, I love this information. So I go searching for it and it's hard for me to find. And so if it's hard for me to find, it's, it's just not being shared. So while I'm not, I love being in the background. I love that aspect. I also find it, I'm so passionate about this and I find that it makes such a huge difference, both in people's businesses and in their lives, that it's an important message to share. And if I'm the one that needs to do that at this point, I'm happy to step up and take take that on. 
Well, and, and I and first of all, thank you for doing that because as a uh, as business owner myself and someone that has a lot of conversations with people that are having challenges, um, you know, you are the person that everybody's looking for, right? You you and people like you that that want to impact those people and not be seen. That is what every business needs. Yeah. Every single business, right? Because it doesn't it, it doesn't run on on uh, on on charm or on extroversion. It just doesn't, right? I well, I, I joke I joke in, with you. right. Like it'll bring yeah, your it, clients it, in, but it certainly won't keep them. And and honestly, like if you don't have the systems in place, you will be miserable running your business. Hmm. And so it's it's that too, right? Like it's it's you're just you can bring them in with the charm and the charisma and everything but you can't necessarily keep them and you don't enjoy the work once they come in as well well and i i, I tell my clients in the real estate space all the time i said you know uh, my personality outshines my paperwork right which is which is which is why i have my transaction team that right. handles all of that stuff in the background because they're better at doing it than i am so uh, i i love that i love and i can see your passion tracy so um you know it, tell me a little bit more about what what are the common problems that that you see right what, what are the things that you see most often that regardless of industry your business owners and clients are running into these snags and you know, operationally and and what are your strategies to actually get them out of their own way and 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 get uh get their business out of that state of hot mess yeah um it's stages right like it's 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 definitely stages i think that uh operations systems structures process it's the unsexy stuff of business Right. And so a lot of entrepreneurs are visionaries and they're, they like the shiny objects. They like the connections. They like, they like the charisma. They like being out in, in front. When literally, when you ask them to create a process, their eyes glaze over, they find something else to do. They start multitasking on their computers. Right. It's just, it's part of it. And so uh, number one, I think that it is, uh, it's just not fun to do to do the process piece and it's the thing that's going to make the most difference for you so in saying that i think that one of the major things to do is to there are a lot of us out there a lot of the people that don't want to be in front of the camera and there and we have amazing business skills go find us Right. Go find us and help and partner with us so that you can have the ideas. You know, a lot of times what I do is you have these amazing ideas and I just go make it a reality and make it happen. And then I put the systems into place while I'm creating it so that it's smooth and it flows ongoing. So it's. Well, it I, I, if I can, I mean, I, I love that that you that your company focuses on that because oftentimes what happens is we, you know, we as business owners we find that perfect hire, right? We find we find that great administrative person, and we toss them in this situation where they're building the boat in the water, right? And so, what what a phenomenal service that that you actually focus on, where you're able to build some of that structure to allow people to step into and. I know that all of our operational people that are listening are like, yay, Tracy, you're, you're right. making our lives easier, right? <laughs> right, exactly. You know, and a lot of times when we first get in there, it's just a big old knot, right? Like there's, mm -hmm. you've been operating for years in, in a little bit of craziness, hectic, all over the place. You know, all of the, there's a lot of unhealthy practices that are happening, right? And we know this, we know it's unhealthy and yet we just keep doing it because we don't know any different and we've never been taught and we don't know how to do it any differently. And so a lot of times it's, we get in there and we just kind of pull the strings right of it and, and lay them all out so that over time, what happens is that your business is aligned. Like I'm not, I look at some uh, operations programs and some you know systems that they have and my eyes cross because mm -hmm. I don't want to, I don't want to go do that. I don't want to, it, it looks painful. Right. And so, but if we were to take 
operations. And we were to say that it's just about aligning your business. It's about building a flow state within your business where all of the messy, crazy bottlenecks and dropped balls and fire drills and everything, they all just went away and they all just smoothed out and that everything just kind of magically worked. That's something to focus on and strive for. And one of the things, one of the tools that I use and one of the uh, ways that we can make this happen and that we can kind of streamline and we can align our businesses uh, is using a work management tool. I personally love monday.com. I love Monday and I have no affiliation with them whatsoever other than teams will use it. I've, as a project manager for 25 plus years, I've used every project management tool in the books. I'm the only one that ever uses it. My team never will use it. They will never update anything. I'm always the one updating it, making sure everything's on track. Monday allows you, and it's the only one that I found that the teams like using. And so we literally have a dashboard of all work that is happening right now, this week, everything that is needed, and we have it all laid out. I, as the owner of my business with with clients, I can look at that dashboard and in 30 seconds, I know what every single person in my business is working on at this time. And if I need an update, I can click on it and I can see exactly what's happening. I love that you brought this up. We totally did not plan this. I'm also not affiliated with Monday.com, but actually our our production company is going through the switch right now over to Monday. And I can, oh my gosh, it is night and day difference Mm -hmm. in terms of the work management side. Because, you know, we we do, um, you know, on the podcast side of things, we do production, audio production, video production. There's a lot of task management and work management that has to happen. And, uh, you know, um, spreadsheets are great. Excel's awesome. It's a very powerful tool that most people can get to, right? Or Excel or Google Sheets or whatever. But man, is it inefficient compared to some of the uh, the technology that's out there. There's, there are so many tools out there available to us. Even the automations in Monday are fantastic. That You don't have to remember things anymore, right? Like I'm all about thinking once and then set it up so that you don't have to think anymore. Yeah. Right. Like well, and just, and there's a relationship between operations and technology, right? And I think that um, some 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 people I talk to are so heavy into the tech that they throw more tech at a problem instead of right. um, fine tuning what's already there. And there are some of them that are so low tech that everything is manual. That is, so it's different problems. And I'm sure that you see both sides in what right. you do. And I I think that there is a sweet spot. I think it depends on the client, on where that sweet spot is. Um, I definitely, in in for me, right, in my business and my clients, it's definitely a... Uh, the, the automations, the tech are an enhancement. They are not mm. the system. So we create the systems, we create the flow, and then we put it into the tech to automate our flow. I so I, I love that I love the way that you put that because you have to build the processes first. Yes. And then leverage technology to make them smoother, faster, easier, yep. uh, more efficient. Manageable, yeah. all the things. Yep. Yeah, love it. Love it. And so um, I mean, um what are some other pieces of technology uh that you believe are kind of like backbones um, for every every business owner out there to to uh, implement for their 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 work management or their their operations team. So I have a secret weapon. So uh, do you use Loom? I do. Love it. So within Monday, what I do is when I'm delegating something to a team member, I will create a Loom video of me doing it exactly how I want it done. Now, Love it. I don't I don't take extra time to do this. I just the next time I've got to run that report, I will record myself running that report. I explain why I'm doing it this way, what I'm doing, where I'm clicking, what I want done. What I do with that, let's say that report needs to be run every Tuesday morning. I will set up the automation so that 
that task will show up and be, you know, that task will be assigned, show up every Tuesday morning, but I will attach within the automation, I will attach the Loom video so that no matter who is doing that, let's say that, you know, Susie's our main person and Susie is sick or Susie is on vacation. Someone else on the team that has never done that before can jump in immediately, watch the video and do it exactly how I want it done. Love that. We, we do that in everything and we make sure both with ourselves and with our clients that we are capturing how we do stuff and how we want it done. And if it changes, I have the team member who's now been doing that. They now record that video and pop it in as an update. And so Love that's that. how we do things. And it, I've had, um, you know, sometimes I'll work with, uh, team members who are overseas and I've had, uh, I had one team member, uh, probably about a year and a half ago that she just s stopped showing up. And after a day or two, it's, we don't know if she's coming back. She's not responding anywhere. Come to find out she had, her computer had broken and she was getting it repaired, but we didn't know. But the cool thing was there was, we lost a team member and we were able to easily go in and get her work done with literally there was no training involved on me bringing another team member on because we had already done everything. There was literally, the, the, they just showed up and started working. There was no training. There was no anything needed. It was absolutely fantastic and the easiest thing in the world. And that's I, the power. That's I love that. Well, and, and yeah, yeah, that's, that's that flow, right? That's, that's flow, right? I mean, and because life happens, let's be honest, Tracy. I mean, you know, um, people, people go on vacation, people, people take, take, uh, take leave, you know, for medical reasons, or they, you know, they, uh, they get married, they have kids, right? They have deaths in the family. All, all of those things are very real. And we we're in a business of people, right? Uh, every business is people. So, uh, I love, love that tip. That's fantastic. Yeah. You know, and what I'll, Add one to it. I don't, I don't know. I'm sure there's other things that do this, but um, StreamYard is our, that's our digital studio anchor for, uh, for everything podcasting related. And it will actually take transcripts. So we'll do videos because we get all of the, 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 the transcription. So it, it becomes uh, painstakingly easy to make an SOP um, that's written instead of video by just jumping in and, and recording the video as you typically, you know, would explaining it. And then you get all of that or whether it's talk to speak, right? What, you know, whatever platform. So yeah. I, I think a lot of people are really intimidated by creating processes and systems. And it you're exactly right. It shouldn't take any longer than the time it takes you to do the task that you're trying to You're just to teach. talking through it as you do the task. Yeah. Love that. Love that. Now, obviously there's some nuance, right? So, you know, so some of those roles, like, uh, uh, you, you know, you, you, if it's, if it's a repeatable task, that's done the same every single time, then that's a great, great, great tool to do that. So how do you approach, um, businesses uh, and clients of yours that, that have a more dynamic business or a more dynamic process where it's different every time. And, uh, like I, the example I would give just because it's, it's what I know is real estate, right? Like, so me evaluating the value of a property and, and pulling all of the data that I need to prepare to, to sit down with a seller is different every single time I do it because it's different homes, it's different school zones, it's different areas. So, um, do you find that there's there's tools that work for those um, tougher situations that take a little bit more of a, a, a fine tuning? There is. And as you're talking, there, so the cool thing about Monday or systems in general is that it doesn't it doesn't mean that it boxes you in and that you have to like there's no creativity. There's no anything involved there. You can build the container that you need and that container can be a repeatable process. What happens within that container can be creative beyond anything you've imagined, right? So as you were just talking, I'm assuming most of the time you're going to look into, so your container, right? You're going to be looking mm -hmm. into schools. 
You're going to be yep. looking into, right, the values of other properties. You're right. So you're going, there are yep. bedrooms, bathrooms, square right. footage, parameters, all that right. stuff. Yeah, there's definitely so, some constants. So there are constants that you have within there, and those can be the containers. What you put in those containers can be completely different and unique for every single thing that you do. But building those containers. And you can build those with automations, with systems, with processes, but it makes it happen like that. So you're not reinventing the wheel every single time. And you're thinking, uh, so what else do I need? Oh, uh, yeah, schools. I haven't looked at schools yet. Let me go do that. Right. The second that you start thinking, that's the second that we start missing things. We start making mistakes. We forget. We get busy. We get sidetracked. We get distracted. All of those things. So by creating those containers, those systems where you you don't have to think anymore. It's just like, okay, next step schools. Let's go look at that. Okay. Next step on the list, we've got surrounding properties next, step, right? Yep. So it's like how many bedrooms? Okay. Put that in there. Right. And so it will help you to actually go faster and actually make everything smoother and make it a heck of a lot easier for you to actually do your work. And I would even say that you would be able to scale much faster because you have that streamlined. I, yeah, I, uh, the, the, you're kind of blowing my mind right now because I, I never thought about it as containers. I mean, it, conceptually you're saying everything. I'm like, oh yeah, absolutely. I'm totally following what you're saying. But, um, you know, the way that I view things is totally different than the way that you view things. Right. And so, uh, you know, I, th I think that diversity of thought and that diversity, uh, uh of, uh, of practices is, is what makes, uh, all of the greatest companies, uh, uh, operate. So mm -hmm. I love that. And look, Tracy, I know we could talk about stuff operationally all day long. And um, as you said, you know, it's it's kind of the unsexy stuff. Um, but to me, it's exciting because it means that it's it, it helps you go faster, smoother, or stronger. Um, but, but but I know that there's some people that are listening to this and 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 this is by no means a sales pitch or anything like that. I mean, this is all about personal growth for people that are listening. But I'm sure that there's people out there that are like, man, I have to connect with Tracy because I am a hot mess. <laughs> and so so what's the best way for them to reach out to you? to learn more about what you offer and to get more insights into uh, into business uh, operations? Yeah. So a great place to start would be to go to my website. It's goldie.com, G-O-A-L-D-I. I love goals. And I have actually a business alignment assessment. So if you're not sure or kind of where you fall or you'd like to see where you fall on the spectrum of kind of hot mess to hell yes, you can actually take that assessment and it'll give you a really clear picture. And then from there, contact me. There are multiple places on the website. I'd love to get on the phone and chat with you and see how I can help. Awesome. And I'm sure that nobody's surprised that you have a predetermined system and assessment that is organized and well thought out to actually identify uh, where they're at. So uh, spoken like a real operational expert. So yeah. love it. Love it. Uh, well, I, again, Tracy, thank you so much for the conversation. Thank you for sharing your insight on on how you you really uh, target growth um, from from the background. Right. And, which which really is the the backbone uh, of business. And, you know, those of you that are listening, if you enjoyed this, make sure you connect with Tracy, check her out, uh, support her business any way that you can, uh, follow the podcast, do all the podcast stuff. Um, and if you enjoy this kind of content, um, this is a, a huge, uh, huge podcast network that we operate within. It's called small business delivered. You can find us on small business delivered.com. So if you love business or, or you, you love hearing from business owners of all different types, make sure you check us out there. And until next time, make sure that you guys are, are keeping, keeping your entrepreneurial spirit alive and you're focusing on unlocking growth in yourself and others. Until next time, I'm Brian Stone. Thanks for tuning in.